Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to determine the pH of a salt solution for the specific case where the salt yields a neutral solution. The problem is telling you that potassium nitrate is added to pure water. Will the pH of a solution of this salt be acidic, basic, or neutral? So in water, potassium nitrate will dissociate into the potassium cation and the nitrate anion. The question is, how will these two ions interact with water molecules? Will they act as acids such that hydronium ions will be produced from the water? Will they act as bases such that hydroxide ions will be produced or will there be no interaction with water? Before answering these questions, it's useful to know which ions do not appreciably react with water to produce either hydronium ions, which would make the solution more acidic, or hydroxide ions, which would make the solution basic. So there are some general rules of thumb to go by when you're trying to answer these types of questions. First of all, if you have cations, certain cations from strong bases, you know that you will not have any appreciable interaction with water. So cations, the following cations, which come from strong bases, will not react appreciably with water. You have lithium, sodium, and potassium. So these are all group 1A elements or alkali metals. Other cations are magnesium, calcium, strontium, and barium. So these are all group 2A elements or alkaline earth metals. And notice that beryllium is an alkaline earth metal also, but it is excluded from this list. The other part of the rules of thumb here is when you have anions from strong mono monoprotic acids. So when you have these particular anions, they will not react appreciably with water. You have chloride, bromide, and iodide anions, and these are all from group 7A, or the halogen elements, and this is excluding uh, fluoride, and other polyatomic anions included here are nitrate and ClO4- which comes from perchlorate. So these are polyprotics that come from strong monoprotic acids. So in this case, going back to this problem, we have potassium cations and nitrate anions. Well if we look at all the cations that come from strong bases, we can see that potassium is one of them. So potassium will not react appreciably with water. And if you look at the anions that come from strong monoprotic acids, you can see that nitrate is one of them. So nitrate will also not react appreciably with water. Therefore, the pH of a solution of potassium nitrate salt will be neutral.